Hello, this is Dana Urquiri, author, speaker, survivor, and certified trauma recovery coach from DanaUrquiri.com. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am going to share with you a very powerful prophetic dream I had early in the morning, and this was a few mornings ago, and it was specifically and collectively for abuse survivors. So I really believe that this overarching message, while it may have begun in the dream, very ominous, very dark, it then took a major complete turn. And then it became extremely hopeful and optimistic and positive and just absolutely beautiful. I mean, it was just the most eye-opening, vivid dream. And I have had dreams in the past that I know were just dreams and it's not much of anything. And then there's many of other times I've had dreams that are so vivid, so real, so clear, so much symbolism. And I know that it's a message and sometimes it's for me and sometimes it's collective. So today's message is a collective message. This is for anyone who has experienced and suffered various forms of abuse, including physical, mental, sexual, and intense spiritual abuse. I'm going to give a trigger warning because I think it's the right thing to do. And the reason why it's really important to just right up front say, hey, there's a trigger warning is because I don't know what you've experienced. And in case you are more sensitive to various content, I'm just giving you an FYI. This could be triggering for you. And we must understand that triggers are actually a very clear sign that we are still in the midst of healing our trauma. And oftentimes these triggers are prompting us to keep going, keep moving forward, an effort to peel one layer after another layer of our trauma wounds, an effort to fully resolve it, to process it, to understand it, and to get on the other side of healing. So let's move forward with the dream. In my dream, it starts off where I was in a room at a college. So it's taking place at college. I appeared a bit younger in my dream. And there were two men who were perpetrators of the abuse. And one was older, one was younger. They both were the predators of various types of abuse. And it definitely was physical, mental, sexual, and spiritual abuse. And in this dream, I sensed a very ominous energy, very masculine, negative energy right at the beginning of this dream. And so these men together had some type of sinister motive, especially to hurt these women in this college. And while the one man on the outside was very handsome, he was very attractive, on the inside, I could see in my dream clearly that this man had very sin sinister, evil motives. His intent was to harm women, especially in this college. Now, in this dream, it shifts over, and now I could see four women. And there's four women and they're next to me and they were really catty. You know, like in junior high when those girls are really mean and they're bullying and they're very manipulative, there might be gaslighting, there might be all kind of slander and just envy and jealousy. That is the sense of what I was really feeling in this dream from these four young women in college. And so in my dream, these women were hateful, they were jealous, and they were cruel towards me. And then I sensed within my spirit that there was a masculine negative energy with these women and the two men. So the head predator said he knew my friend Beth Jones. And a lot of you already know that I talk about my friend Beth Jones. Her and I have been friends for decades. And she's an author. She's a speaker. She travels internationally. You can always go check out her website. But it was really interesting and quite intriguing that this predator 
came right out and said to me he knew my friend Beth Jones and that she was one of his victims. And in this dream, there was an inner knowing. So I had the inner knowing. I knew that Beth was no longer a part of this maliciousness. I knew that she had broken free of the abuse, especially from this man and this college. And in my dream, I knew I had to get away. I knew that this was extremely, very volatile, extremely psychologically abusive, sexually abusive, etc., etc. And so my goal in the dream was to escape. And so in my dream, the scene now shifts. And in my dream, I'm leaving the college. And now I'm outside. It appeared to be springtime. It was warm out. It was sunny out. It was beautiful, beautiful weather. And so I'm walking down a sidewalk. And to my right, I see a woman. Now, she was, she was a young woman. And in my dream, I must have recognized her. I wasn't close friends with her. But I definitely recognized that she had been at my college she was a student at my college and it was almost like again an inner knowing that she broke free from this abusive energy these toxic men and women at my college and that she was also free so together her and i start walking down the sidewalk and so now we're walking and all of a sudden, we come upon this beautiful, beautiful flowered tree. So I just want to say right out front, I don't know what kind of tree it was. I've looked up online all of these different trees, like the dogwood, the magnolia, um, the cherry blossom. I cannot figure out what tree this was. It was the most breathtaking, beautiful, stunning, white and pink flowered tree, and it was at its fullest potential. It was at its peak of being blossomed. And it was just so beautiful. And we were standing there admiring the tree, talking about its beauty. And then the dream ended and I woke up. And that's the end of the dream. And so now I'm going to get into the interpretation of what I believe is the prophetic message. And remember, this isn't just for me. It's not just for Beth Jones. It is for you, a survivor of abuse. I believe this is a collective message. It was a spiritual dream. And as I mentioned, it started out extremely ominous. And then the scene shifted. I'm outside. There's the beautiful tree. And now I'm going to get into the interpretation. So let's start with the negative energy at the beginning of the dream. So in this beginning of the dream, it was low vibrational, demonic men and women. They abused their power. I had an inner knowing about them, and I knew that they were abusers physically, mentally, spiritually, and sexually. This dream took place in college. So when we think about, well, what does college represent? What does college symbolize? College symbolizes and represents a learning environment. Think about your healing journey, your trauma recovery as a learning environment because we are learning. We are gaining so much more wisdom and insight after we end these toxic, abusive uh, dynamics in our lives. And so... College does represent wisdom, knowledge, um, a learning environment, and it is symbolic of your healing journey. Say, for example, your valuable life lessons. You know, even if we experience some very traumatic, um, hard trials, painful, very difficult experiences, especially if there was any type of abuse, we can understand that there is still insight, there is still wisdom, there is still so much that we could discover along our pathway to healing that could really support us emotionally, uh, psychologically, mentally, cognitively, relationally, and help us get onto a new pathway where we could truly bloom and blossom despite the pain from our past. Next is that when we educate ourselves and we learn about abuse and we learn about various kinds and oftentimes people don't talk about spiritual abuse, you know, the very, very evil, demonic kind, different spiritual occults, 
uh, satanic occults, we can understand that it is of the lowest vibration, very masculine energy, absolutely toxic and lethal. I mean, as I said, the dream was very ominous in the beginning, but we can become aware and knowledgeable as we heal, even if it was spiritual abuse, even if it was something of a sexual assault, etc., etc. Then we have to really take a good look at freedom. So when I left this college and these abusers, these predators, the men and the women, it represents freedom. So I step outside of the college. I walk along the sidewalk. I end up seeing another survivor. Together we walk along the sidewalk and on our right side, we see this beautiful flowered tree. So freedom is my walking outside. It represents that I broke free of all the psychologically abusive dynamics on every level. So mentally, cognitively, relationally, spiritually, sexually, et cetera, et cetera. Next is the flower tree. What does this represent? So the beautiful white and soft pink flower tree was at its full peak of being um, flourishing and blossoming. So the white and pink flowers, they represent me and they represent you, the abuse survivors. So it's symbolic of our personal, emotional, professional, spiritual, and relational journey where we then get on the other side of healing. So that despite our incredible traumatic experiences, we will heal. We will heal. We will grow, we will learn, we will gain knowledge, we will educate ourselves, we will become a lot more aware of everything involving trauma and abuse and sexual assaults. And even on the spiritual level, we'll come to understand spiritually how this can impact our lives, body, mind, and soul. And so we still transform, you know, everything about this tree. Think about this tree, the roots are deep. The Flowers are blooming, they're beautiful, they're at their peak. This is representing us, that we are reaching our peak. We will heal. This is giving us so much hope. Now, let's talk about the white flowers and what they are symbolic of. So, white does not imply no color or the lack of color. Just because it doesn't have a color doesn't mean it's less than or it's lacking. So flowers can indicate harmony and the color white in flowers amplifies the level of harmony. And most of the tree, I'd say probably 90% of the tree was pure white, snow white. And then there was maybe 20% that were these very soft, pretty pink petals. So the white flowers have a calmness and a purity that is unique and unsurpassed. White flowers express simple beauty and are often associated with innocence, new beginnings, humility, and devotion. White flowers symbolize spirituality, and we have to understand healing trauma is not just on a physical or mental level. I really, really am believing strongly that spiritually we need to expand, we need to grow. I believe that when we are abused and traumatized, it is not just on a physical or sexual or mental level. I believe it goes to the core of our soul, of our essence of who we are, of our divine being. And so this does require us to heal on a spiritual level and to expand our soul. And so we must understand that white flowers, they do um, express the new beginnings, that, which is very, very exciting. And, and how exciting, because we're going to be heading into 2022 within a few weeks. And so before we know it, we're going to be ringing in the new year, you know, happy 2022, the start of a new chapter, a new season in our life in which we have a clean slate and we're starting something so amazing and it is exciting. So white flowers do symbolize spirituality. White is a color that is created by mixing all of the colors together and because of all, it's all 
encompassing nature, it is often the main element of spirituality. White also has a significant relation to the idea of faith, and it can also be associated with Virgin Mary and different things regarding our expansion, transformation, and, and spiritual growth. So let's talk about what else do the white flowers represent and signify. So other than new beginnings and purity, it represents innocence, perfection, honesty, fidelity, marriage commitment, and love. So I thought that was really interesting when I was doing the research. Let's chat about the pink flowers. They are symbolic of innocence, sensitivity, playfulness, femininity, delicateness, thoughtfulness, and spontaneity. And, you know, think about it. Sometimes we're so deep in the dark we're trying to heal and sometimes it's not easy. Sometimes we're just staying afloat. Other times we might feel like we're drowning. But there is this light and it is shining and we need to see the light at the end of the tunnel. We have to understand and believe that there is hope that we can persevere through our dark times. And so this overarching message in this powerful prophetic dream is that we will go from merely surviving to thriving, we will fully flourish, we will blossom, and that we will reach the other side of the healing journey. And so today, share with me, is there anything that stood out in this dream? If you're really into symbolism and you want to give me any more insight or share what you think this dream means, whether it's to do with the very beginning where it was ominous, and then there was a whole new scene in which it was sunny and it was beautiful. And this tree with white and pink flowers was breathtaking. Feel free to share. I hope this can give you comfort and peace and encouragement and inspiration to keep on walking that pathway towards healing. You know, whether we take one step forward or two steps back, both are very common in the trauma healing journey. If you need emotional support, I am a certified trauma recovery coach. You can feel free to reach out if you would like to start your coaching journey with me. And you can visit me at DanaArcuri.com. Thank you so much and have a beautiful day. God bless.